It has been described as a house of horrors, this West Philadelphia abortion clinic, where 69-year-old Dr. Kermit Gosnell operated for more than 30 years. The children were born and then killed. Killed by putting scissors in the back of their neck and snipping their spinal cord. The adult victim, prosecutors say, was 41-year-old Karnamaya Monger, who died in 2009 after receiving an overdose of anesthesia. The nearly 300-page investigative report says paramedics who arrived at the clinic found her lifeless and said Gosnell was just standing there, not doing anything. Photos from inside the clinic, visited mostly by minority and immigrant women, show unsanitary, squalid conditions with jars and bags of aborted fetuses. There were fetal remains in the same exact refrigerator that the employees had their lunch in that day. Authorities say Gosnell has been named in 46 lawsuits, but that his clinic had not been inspected by state officials since 1993. None of the employees had any medical training. Nine, including his wife, have also been arrested. He even employed a University City High School student as an anesthesiologist. The district attorney says the doctor used unsterilized instruments infecting patients with venereal disease and often punctured uteruses and intestines. The grand jury went to the scene wearing hazmat suits. Uh, it was filthy. In an interview last year with CBS affiliate KYW, Gosnell defended his 30-year practice. I know that I have done my very best to provide the very best of responsive care to my patients. But this former patient told KYW last year she endured a botched procedure by Gosnell and will never forget his words to her afterwards. Wake up, wake up. I need you to put your clothes on. I have an ambulance waiting for you outside. I did something to you and I don't know what I did. Now, investigators say most patients were sedated and had no idea their babies were born alive. Dr. Gosnell is now in police custody. Prosecutors have not ruled out seeking the death penalty. Katie? And Elaine, how could this clinic operate for so long without being investigated? Well, basically, it was only discovered relatively recently. Last year, police conducted a drug raid, essentially investigating unrelated drug charges at this clinic. It was then that those state local and federal police agents saw these discarded, uh, these bags rather, containing what prosecutors say were discarded fetuses, and they notified the local prosecutors. Katie? Uh, Elaine Keanu in Philadelphia, thank you.